Hello and welcome back to the Garion Tabletop. I am Garion Reaver and I'm back in Night of the Full Moon, the best roguelike deck builder I've ever played, and we're going to take another crack at the Memory in Mirror new release game mode. This time I will try the Beasts against Rat Grandma. Beast for a beast. Oh, you have to select two factions. You can't take just one. Okay, I'll go with... Uh... No, actually, let's try um, Beast and Ghost, one of the DLC factions. Ah, I guess these are ghost ones. I think I'll go with the ghostly treasure chest. Uh, yes, buy buy that one. Can I buy that one? Yes. Sorry, forgotten how to play. It's been <laughs> it's been a little while. All right. You look around the same age as my daughter. So he dies, but then summons an adorable little ghosty, and the beasts. Okay. Well, I think I'll go for the headless walker because he gets a buff when I summon a ghost, so he pairs well with the treasure chest. So he gets killed, summons a better one, he gets a buff. Alright, so this is a little bit more intricate to use the uh, the the summon and, and doom ones, but it's not a permanent 1-1, one -one. that's a shame. I like the permanent upgrades. Let's go with another ghostly treasure chest, because... Oh. Oh, maybe it is permanent if I do it like... Okay. So he goes up to 4 now. Okay, cool. Sorry, I keep saying okay. <laughs> let's uh, let's gold that one. So what does that do? Summon a gold dead. What's a gold dead? Let's get the gigantic it. I don't know what it means by when you upgrade gain one two. I don't know what that means. I will take the wandering spirit, and I will upgrade to uh, two stars. So let's play the spell. Give an ally 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I'll give the, uh, the... That guy 2-2, two, two, the Headless Walker. Play him first, and her... Third, probably? Yeah, he does get much more powerful. Okay, so if I lean into the ghost, he'll become a monster. And monsters are, are good in this case. 6-6 six, six ghost, nice. That's pretty good. Unused equipment cards can be sold. Yes, so that was sort of where I went wrong in the previous one. I've done a... I forgot to mention that. I've done a previous video on this. You should go check that out. That's like my first impressions. I did the first campaign. It was really good. The where I went wrong was you can sell guys. So that's how you get rid of them. You can't like undeploy and swap, swap them in and out. You have to get rid of them permanently if you want to get rid. Either attack doubled minions or uh, minions to give like them 1-1. One, one. I'll go with the potion shop, because I'd rather give everything a buff than one guy get a buff. Oh, the dead you summon from now on a plus 2-2. Two, two. That's pretty good, because that'll buff him. Yeah, alright, let's go with Piper of the Dead. Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I don't know if, like, because that's an entry one. It triggers when they enter the field. So I guess the idea is you buy entry ones and then sell them again to get more entry ones, you know? Yeah, I reckon I can take them. I'd rather outpower them with the uh, the Headless Walker. <laughs> nice. Scarecrow, give any ally permanent 1-1. One, one. Oh, Madness. Madness is good. 10 health. So Madness, uh, also known as Lunacy, um, increases the number of times they attack. So like each Madness they have is an extra attack they will make when it is their turn. Scarecrow isn't actually anything, so he doesn't really mesh with the strategy. He does give permanent buffs, though. I think I'll go with the Snoll, Snoll stature. That sounded wrong. Um, and I will... Let's see. Yeah, I'll, I'll just put him... I'll put him... I, I still don't know what's going on with this ghost. Let's level up again. And 3-3, three, three, transform one ally to golden. Oh, that could be good. Or all allies plus two. I think I'm going to golden somebody, but I don't know who... I'll go with that one. I kind of want to golden him because if he... I'm guessing that's going to be like, oh, when it goes up, it'll be uh, when you summon a ghost gain 3-3 three, three or something, or 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two, yeah. So if I golden him now, that means he will just ramp up in, in power. And although it's not good to have one person be ridiculously strong because they can just get killed off... Oh, wow, that ghost is getting bigger. They're dead. Um... You one person can one like really powerful thing can still carry a team. 
After an ally dies, this minion gains 2-2. Two, two. Embed kill. So you stack stats and it gives them a, a kill buff. When attacking steel, 5 points of targets attack. Ooh. So I could get the huge demon and stack him onto this one so that every time he kills he gains 2-2. Two, two. So that would sort of offset the damage he takes a little bit, but not much. No, I, I don't think that fits me actually. Vitality, can't attack, gain 2-5, uh, sorry, 2-8. I think I'll go for the Vitality Talisman, and I'll give that to him. Because he is my main dude. Whose weapon is missing? Oh, you dick, you just stole my weapon. Cause the... Oh, the enemy's highest attack to have. That was a bit nasty. Not game-breaking, though, because I've got quite a team of strong guys now. So far, I will say that I'm finding this mode quite easy. I don't know if that's because, like, I'm using the DLC one in this case, but I found the other one kind of easy too. Ooh, recruit for two gold. Astrology Parlor can recruit minions, and when you sell a minion, a minion in store increases. All right, if I do that one, and I sell... I sell this one for one, and that buffed him up. Deal five damage to all enemies when he gets a kill. Well, I'm I'm leaning into the ghost strat, so yeah, let's uh, let's do that. So if I put him up second, I still don't know what's going on with this spirit. When you upgrade, gain one two. I don't know what that means. Is that does that mean when I level up? What else we got? Because I think like what you're supposed to do is sell the lower tier stuff you have when you get into the higher tier stuff. Death rattle, summon dead, give all deads on the field plus five five. That's pretty good. I will take that. And I will um, shuffle these along and make it so that he's the second one to die. Because that one will die, summon a dead. That one will die, summon a dead, buff both. So dead summoning. That is my strat here. Oh, a candle person. Oh, good candle. Ooh, allies gain death rattle. Okay, so this could ramp a bit. Alright, he's dead, summons a dead, give them both... Buffs. Leave this place. Yikes. Stats added during non-combat are permanent. Yep. Shield. Shield is still really good. Alright, I'm going to grab shield because that's amazing and I'll stick it on my best guy. I will also grab a dirk and stick it on... What was you? You were kill. Yep. So I need you to make kills so that you damage everybody. No, it isn't. My best fighter's hidden at the back. Oh, of course, getting... Summoning the dead increases him. Now, does it stay up? So, he ended that at 24. No, okay. So, one summon during the fight. I mean, that's what it said before, that combat things are temporary, non-combat increases stay. So, every time I summon, he buffs. But every time I summon in, in combat, he buffs, and then it goes away again. I don't know whether I should try this Snatch here. He's only a two star and I'm about to go up to four, so probably not. Give an ally strength and transform an ally into a minion plus one, gain four XP. I'll go with the mutation and uh, I will put it on him. Vengeful Spirit, first hand, cause a random enemy stats to halve. Okay, so he can be at the back. He doesn't really do much. Ooh, shield. Whenever a minion loses shield, that minion gains 3-3. Three, three. So that leans into a, a shield strat. All right, I'm going to buy that. I'm going to stick it on him because I need him to get kills. And this way, my two best guys will buff up as they go. The problem with him is he's got such low health. I think these guys have shield. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I recognize them. Alright, I may struggle here because shield strat is so good in this. Because no matter how hard you hit them, it doesn't affect it. Okay, there goes his shield and he got buffed, but he's getting loads of kills. Oh, he doesn't actually need to make the kill. Triggered when the enemy is destroyed by damage or effect. I assumed he had to actually do the kill. But no, if otherwise I could essentially sit him at the back if I wanted to. Let's go for the wholesale thing, because that seems better than just plus two damage. Ooh, Embed Madness. Dragged from your hand to an ally of the same type to stack stats and effects. Good, okay, then yes, I definitely want him. What, Sweep? Oh, attacks the same row. 
I don't think I want this one, but like, there's no reason to get rid of it yet. Um, all right, if I put madness on him, that way he'll attack more. I can get another one of them. All of your minions have madness. Amazing. All right, yeah, I'm going to sell that one. I'm going to put you in there. And I'm going to keep hold of you. Can I get another one? Give a minion death rattle summon dead. Every time a minion is summoned permanently game one, two. Oh, summon in battle. So that is also, he ties into the dead strat. All right, I'm going to sell him. I'm going to buy him. Because if I can buff him up, then that'll be pretty good. Damn, I was hoping to get another soul desecrator, but I haven't. All right, let's go on then. Ooh. What's his thing? Cheat. When attacks, steal three points of the enemy attacked. At attack. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean. All right. So my dead are actually kind of weak now. Because they, they, they're only like 10 health. I mean, the enemy is only like sixes. Ooh. Wow. Madness is so good. There we are. Soul Desk Crater. Gold one. Fantastic. So deal five, two enemies, two times. Uh, wealth ticket. Select a, min a, a current level minion and gain two gold. The dead you summon from now on plus three? Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't have any space to play him, though. Let's put the weapons back on him. All right, I guess I'll just keep going as I am. He's sort of underwhelming now. I'll see if I can level up again after this one. Oh, he was their first level boss. Interesting. Let's see how we get on then. Oh, he's dead already. I need my guys to attack. If, if my guys aren't attacking, then there's not much I can do. I think I've got this. We yeah. always seem to overvalue the things we do not yet own. Very profound. Mystery box. Every two minions recruited gain one random equipment. Or, yeah, let's go with that one. One day, my owner will remember me. This game can be quite sad sometimes. Alright, level up. So, spell. Next three resets are free. All minions in store gain plus two. All allies have plus four. Let's go with the all minions in store, because presumably that's going to be forever. When taking damage, summon dead. That might be better than that one. Yeah, I think I need to swap out the ghostly treasure chest. I don't think he's doing enough for me anymore. So let's get this soul ferryman instead. So first of all, play him so that all dead I summon from now on get the buff. Get rid of him again. Play that one. I think I'm doing this right. I think he's just going to die straight away, but let's give it a go. He doesn't really have the health to stand up to anything anymore. What what level is he? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> At least they do get a buff, so they are up to like 13-13, but that's still not amazing. I feel I haven't leaned into it enough for that build. What is he then? He Yeah, he's only a two-star. I'm up to five-star now. Why did I lean into him? All right, well, let's get a ghostly treasure box. Shield of the dead. Ah, oh, no, I don't have a death rattle thing. Summon two deads. How do you summon two deads? Presumably I need a spare space. All right, well, I'll get that because I do have a summon sort of strat. So if I put that on him, I can't do that. If I put that on him and then swap them round. So I don't know if he needs to be alive for that to that to take effect. So I might be weakening myself by actually let's swap those round. Let's take that off. Give that. No, I don't want to give that to him. Okay, I'm going to give that to him. You see, the problem I have is I would give it to him because he keeps dying, but he's going to summon one and I need the space, so he needs to be on the third one at least. Shield, kill, gain shield. That's pretty good. Oh my god, that would be an amazing team up. Shade, where he kills to gain a shield, and this one to taunt so that um, anyone trying to attack in, in his row gets put on him instead. I can't afford them both though. So I'm just going to have to go on, but that will be a cool strat for another run. Life slips by like a First hand enemy minion health halves. Oof. That's pretty nasty. I may lose here. 
I don't feel I have any kind of thing. Yeah, well, there are the two. I'm not doing anywhere near enough damage here. Oh, bloody. What just happened there? Deal five to all enemies two times. Oh, on a kill! Wow, that is a cascade effect, because if the if the effect, like, damages more, then he's just going to blow up everybody. That is incredible. I'm going to go with the magic theatre when entering the store. Display minions from your lineup. I want ghosts. Alright, let's get that one to get a gold treasure. Summon golden dead. Give all dead on the field 10-10. A gigantic it. I'll go with the dead reaper, but it doesn't fit, so I'm going to sell it again. I'll get the sword and the stone because I want to gold him if I can. Baby ghost. Not ghost type. Ha. Huh. There. Sword and the stone. Gold sword now. So the first of all, let's get the gigantic it. The dead you summon from are now 1-1. One, one. That's a g uh, growth. Alright, so what I will do... Oh, All your minions have madness times 2. Alright, I definitely want that because that is very good. Growth. Thing is, it's a growth one. So growth ones affect um, before a battle. So I need to. But no, there are, there are only two battles left. So there's no point having that one. If I got that sooner, if I was up up to this level sooner, then that would probably be worth it. But at this point, it's it's just not. It's too late. See if we can get another level up in, but unlikely. Oh, what just happened? Enemy minion to get minus six attack. Oof. So that means my front line are pretty useless now. Boom, boom. Ah, so maybe he does need to actually get the kill, because he didn't do the boom, 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 boom that time. Yeah, now he explodes. <laughs> it's very hard, because this is so fast-paced, it's hard to know exactly what is doing what. Ooh, Gravediggers of Resurrection. When another ally takes damage, this minion gains HP. That's okay. If he just gains HP, I can deal with that. Ooh. Longbow. That might be a big com a good combo with this, because he takes wait, he takes damage he summons, so he needs to take damage and survive. So if he takes damage and dies, then he'll only do it once. Every damage is dealt one time game one one. Oh, every every time damage is dealt, gain one one. So if I give that to him, he should be a monster by the end of it. So this is the penultimate fight. Show me what you're made of. So let's see. Right, he would be summoning, but he couldn't because there was no space. Wow, he's ticking up in health, isn't he? Oh, they hit so hard. I love it. Oh, summoned a couple of deads. Blow him up! Damn, he died as well. Oh well. I still got this quite easily, but that was... That was a little bit... A little bit hairy, actually. You can buy equipment. Yeah, let's go for equipment. It's the only thing I really want at this point. Whenever one ally is attacked, they gain one... one uh, sorry, they gain 4-4. Four, four. I can buy, like, three bits of equipment. I'm going to go with the slingshot, and I'm going to give it to him. Because that's uh, when an ally dies, this guy gains strengthen. So every time an ally dies, he gets plus two attack. Every time you equip one piece of equipment, gain one stack of madness. Is that on the person it's on? Or is that just in general? So he's got madness plus three with that. Or madness plus two without it. I guess I'll give that to him? I don't, I don't know if that's right. After attacking, deal two enemies. Alright, that's my last thing I can buy, so I'll give that to him just to, to deal a little bit of damage as we go into the final fight my against Rat Grandma. For to come. When taking damage, summon a mouse with the stats of the damage taken. Okay, that's horrible. But hopefully they're going to be, like, occupied. The board's going to be pretty full of uh, these resurrecting guys who just keep coming back, by the way. Oh, God, this isn't easy. Oh, there are the rats. Ooh. 
Oh no, that is nasty. Oh god, that is horrendous. How do you possibly beat that? Missing part of one's memory. Is that a win? It is a win! <laughs> oh, that was a draw, really? Clear with three ghosts. Can be used in place of one to three stars to initiate triple. I don't know what that means. Chemical device gains 10-10 for one stack. For one of each of stack, sweep, pierce, and shield. Okay, class proficiency. So there are proficiencies. I guess I missed that last time. But that was Rat Grandma. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you have any tips. I still, I still don't feel I really get this. Like I do well at it, but I don't feel I get the flow of it as anywhere near as much as I get the base game. I, I really feel like I get that game, and I then, and in a weird way, the game gets me. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. This was the Memory in Mirror expansion. It's a free expansion. Go check out the game, which is a free game, phenomenal game. Go check it out on Steam. And thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more board games, card games like this, miniatures and D&D, &D, and I will catch you later.